Hey everyone, we are now in the lesson 2. First of all, I would like to thank for watching and following the series, this series of tut uh, tutorials. Now, when you open a uh, when you open the Primavera software, software, Primavera software, and if you have if you created several projects but didn't show the the projects, just go to the menu, select Enterprise, and select Project. The project window, main window, will appear with the several several projects that you created and we created in the series of created in the series of this tutorial. This to open the project specifically for uh, H001 or H residences and H004 or rice rooms so that we will create an activity for H001 residences and H004 housing art rice homes rice homes projects so each of these projects have different level of WBS so we will create two types of activity one with one level of WBS which is the H residences and second is that we have the, the project with two level of activity which is a Bright Homes project so create an activity for H001 residences just select H001 project right click and click open project so if we shift and to open the WBS window go again to the menu select project select WBS As you can see, we open a project with H001 project with the previously created one level, the w, first level WBS. And in this, we will create an activity. So, to create an activity for H001 project, select the activity window. Then in the select the WBA space one, then right click, add, right click, then click add. Then type the activity name, for example, that works. And again, select activity. H001 for another H1 at 1000 right click click add for the new activity type structural works then add activity right click click add ABT name architectural work and right click again click add timing works Click again, click add for electrical works. As you can see the 
default value for activity activity ID is H1000 then the increment activity ID we create another activity then this default can be customized and I will explain the, the, how to customize this in different in different video then another default settings is the plan duration every time we, see, we create an active, new activity the five days duration is default duration then every time we create an activity is the start date which is the current or the actual date for example duration for this project record for this project is 60 days then is 180 let's say Plumbing works 180 and electrical works is 180. As you can see, if we type an duration, automatically a uh, bar, bar chart in the left side of the time scale, this is time scale, it will appear. And the uh, finish date for each activity also automatically this duration is for tutorial purposes and actual duration or plan duration can be computed based on the type of activity and the productivity rate you apply which is depend also in the resources that you assign for the meantime we will create simple activity for this project after creating an uh, activity and duration we will assign the relationship for this following activity then we will copy this activity for phase 1 and phase 3 then we will run the schedule we will assign predecessor and accessor for each of this activity and type of relationship including the past the lab to further understand this let's assign predecessor and successor for example for earthworks the successor is of course the structural works just double click the successor column in activity Artworks, then an assigned resource accessor dialog box will appear in left. Let us choose Traxional Works. Selected Activity Code, Activity ID will reflected are reflected in the activity we assigned and the selected successor also automatically appear here then uh, another one as you will notice here in the activity form below in the successor tab for activity 810 activity id uh, earthworks shows have a successor of structural work with finished restart relationship but and zero lag i will explain it further when as we go on so let's assign a structural the uh, accessor for active for structural works for architectural works select here in the column aligning to the structural work double click Select plumbing works and for plumbing works, select electrical works and for structural.
Visual Works, select Architecture Works, then let's close for let's close for a while. Then the assign successor dialog box. Then we will show you how to run this this schedule. In the menu, select Tools, then click Schedule. Schedule dialog box will appear. This and with some details such as current date to date this is the current date to date the date to date let's just uh, retain that some details here just click schedule as you can see the, the the bar chart here is calculated and adjusted and placed. the finish date also is calculated here to visualize the entire bar chart just uh, let's adjust the time scale select time scale here then right click select time scale time scale dialog box will appear then in the date interval just let us select year quarter click right and click ok See now the entire duration, the entire bar chart for activity. This shows that it's red. But in the actual construct construction, we don't need to wait for the entire arc earthworks before the arc structural works will be, will will be, will commence. The same with architectural work before structural works and plumbing electrical works for architectural work so there are sometimes a, pa a parallel, parallel situations while excavation is ongoing fabrication of rebars for structural works is also ongoing how we can adjust the schedule that is the significant of the lag which is shown here in the predecessor and successor which we can adjust here in the predecessor and successor dialog box. For example, structural works can be commenced after 30 days the earthwork starts. So how we, can we adjust the bar chart using the lag? I select the activity we want to assign the lag. Then let us set the lag in the, the form below. You can see the relationship is finished to start which means before we, we, we assign lag I will explain to you the types of relationship that we can assign in activity there are four types of relationship finish to start finish to finish finish to start start to finish and start to start the finish to start relationship means that after finishing the first activity which is earthworks the structural will be activity will start this is the meaning of finish to start relationship same with finish to finish the first activity for example earthworks will have the same finishing dates to the structural works and also start to finish and start to start. For example, architectural works and electrical works, uh, plumbing works and electrical works will, will commence or start on the same day. Then we will adjust the lag. The relationship. Start to start the relationship with for the structural work structural works with earth works and with the positive lag of 30 so, let us run so you can visualize click tools click to schedule then let's say select schedule and you can see there are 30 days positive lag here with the start start to start relationship earth works to the structural works then let us create again relationship with the negative lag for architect 
architectural works to the structural works. Let's select structural works, then go to the dialog box. A predecessor tab. In the lag, let us type minus 30. Then we visualize again. Go to the menu, put schedule, and select schedule. So it's it. As you can see again, the, the relationship of structural works, architectural works to structural structural works to earthworks uh, to architectural works is finished to start for FS finished to start relationship with 30 days lag. But I believe if there are some architectural works that can be fabricated off site so 30 days lag negative is Let's adjust the lag by let's say minus 110. Then let's click to schedule schedule. Let's assign for example. Let's adjust architectural works by 240 calendar days. Then let's adjust the lag by negative 10. Then go to the menu, schedule. Architectural works with finish to start relationship. Finish of the structural work to start of architectural works relationship with negative 210 lag from here. End of structural work to start of architectural work. Replete, which is almost the same with the start to start relationship. Then let's use again another type of relationship which is start to finish. And let us assign relationship uh, for plumbing works and electrical works. Example for plumbing works. Let's say start to start again. Again, 30 days positive lab. Then schedule. Schedule. And for electrical works, the relationship would be. Oh, sorry. Plumbing works, let's say. That for plumbing works, let's say the relationship is start to start, start of architectural works, start of finishing plumbing works relationship with 90 days lag. Let's schedule tool, schedule, and click schedule. Oh, as you can see, the bar is also again adjusted. Then let's also set the relationship for electrical works to plumbing works with lag with finish to finish relationship 
Quick Zero lang. So then let's create tool schedule. Schedule. Don't need yeah, to use the quick frequently the tool schedule. It's much better you prepare the schedule first first with the assigned relationship and lag and input it in excel file from excel file we will import the file from excel to the to the primavera program also you can see the var shows red which means the critical path since there's and no other there's no other activities available yet then let us copy this activity we created place entry select a1000 to a4 1040 and right click click copy select the WBS activity place 2 right click click paste then the copy option the box appears so just ensure that the relationship is checked and activity codes will automatically adjust them click ok and again select paste 3 wbs right click click paste and click OK. PPT code will also automatically incremented by 10. Click OK. Let us assign a relationship for artworks from phase 1 to phase 2 to phase 3. Phase 3. We only assigned one, but relationship such as predecessor and successor can be more than one. But make it simple, we only assigned one successor from phase two to phase predecessor from phase one. We'll assign predecessor for earthworks of phase two, which is earthworks of phase one and Earthworks of base 3, which is Earthworks of base 2, and click close the assigned predecessor dialog box. Then let us run the schedule, the menu tools, schedule, click schedule. As you can see the schedule with the bar chart will are is adjusted, are adjusted. The bar chart shows different color of PBT which is green and red what does that mean? It means the red bar chart means all the activities in the red bar chart means this is the critical activity that need not to be delayed since any delay of this each of the activity can cause of the delay of each project this is the critical path and activities in the critical path also have zero total float, zero free float, zero total float. Then here the green activity means this activity can be delayed for a uh, computed free float for each activity, the allotted free float without delaying the completion of the project. To further visualize the relationship, further visualize how the, the relationship is in the from one activity to another in the toolbar. Select this one, relationship lines, then click. As you can see, there are lines here that shows think from bar 1 to the other. For example, earthworks 
in phase 1 and structural works in phase 2. Structural works in effort works have start to start relationship with 30 day lag. 30 days lag. You can see bar chart is relationship is start to work works and start of structural works with 30 days lag. Then the architectural works with the relationship of finish to start finish of structural works to the start structural works to the start of architectural works with 210 negative 210 days lag finish of okay. structural works to the start of structural works with 30 days lag hope you clear to you meaning of the relationship and the lag and next we will create an activity for the H004 project the price this project with two level of WBS Let's make adjust the, the time scale so we can visualize here a month, here a quarter, here, here quarter, yeah, okay. okay. This, is, this is the bar chart. We created schedule. Next, we will create the DVD for a 2WBS level project go to the activity window select 8004 project right click click open and let's proceed to activity window As you can see phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 is the first level WBS and earthworks, structural works, textural work, plumbing works, electrical works, art. The tech and level of WBS. Let's create an activity for WBS earthworks. Like earthworks, right click, click add. Let's say excavation. right click out excavation add for and then right click select the property link click add for the field And for structural works, right click, click add, select WBS structural work, right click, and click add. Steel application. Click select the steel application, click add or more application. Right click, click add or click on. Enter column, adjacent column, beams, stub. And for architectural works, 
este un tercer igual que se pues, que select architecture works right click y tal Clustering, right click, click add, tile works, right click, click add, doors and windows. Enter, click, click add, painting works. Plumbing works, right click, plumbing work, right click, add, guys, add ins. set so it includes breaker so that is the activity feed to the level WBS so I let you expound your knowledge what you learned here I didn't I let you explore the what I teach and apply it in your project so like what, what I teach in project 8001 after creating a uh, scheduling of project 8001 in durations we will update and I will show you how to update the schedule see you in the next video if you have any comment and suggestion just input it in the comment section if you have if you want any software tutorial tutorial that you want me to teach to you just then also put it in the comment section or you can reach me in the email not so techy at gmail.com thank you very much for your viewing for more engineering software reviews and tutorials click subscribe